Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack. I knew about this yesterday. Uh, let me get this. Jackman, I know him since 2017. We, when he did his video Gamers vs. SGWs. He actually called down some of the fucking bad actors that destroyed the gaming industry. And to my surprise, he actually became one of them. He finally became one of them. Like, from Give Me Van Hammer, I'm going to read this to you. As someone who never got into Resident Evil 4 or have any real opinion with Ashley Design, come stop guys lighting that man. If you actually dug into some of the nitty gritty of the discourse, you realize that the argument centers of on the principle and idea of censorship. And um, why is that a tweet? Because of this another tweet from the Ackman. I just discovered there is a group of people with a weird obsession or wanted to look up or of Ashley Skier in Resident Evil 4 remake. God damn, just gotta watch porn at this point, such a degenerates. This is my main problem. Ah uh, Japanese games Always had this kind of content and well I guess to this motherfucker surprise Resident Evil is a the original was a Japanese game. Uh, at this point I don't know if it's still Japanese because of the remake and the decisions they made in the process. But the thing is you could look at that fat service because it's always been like that in Japan before the two thousands, even the eighties, I'm going to say it. Ah, uh, but yeah, Len, look at this. This is a a complaint. This is what the dialogues and the original content from the PS2 version and I am GameCube. Yeah, it, it has this. It has it, and then yeah. <laughs> People clowning on it. Trannies and their lord the soy boy and their lord run they ruin the industry. You get shit games and pretty shit like this. Yeah. Everyone is fucking pissed. And for a good reason, honestly. Uh, this is a valid reason. My problem with remakes is because they want to rescribe the story of of original content or rescribe the entire content completely and sense and apply censorship and that's what happened with Resident Evil 4 even my, one friend of mine lent me the license for the PS4 version ah oh, shit man it's well the, the 4 is technically shit I don't like what they done to certain characters, certain dialogues, portrayal of characters, how these characters are portrayed. For example, Luis Era is a moron. Um, he doesn't have the acid jokes like he used to have, like the Ashley Bazookas. That's, that's one of them. And then you have Ada Wong. Sounding so dead inside in the English version, and then in my playthrough, I saw Leon calling out a joke about, "Oh, Ashley, maybe you are you are already aware of this purpose chasing you." I'm like, "What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> so, uh, it's good like that, and ah. Uh, you know what it is. And then they are attacking modes. This is what it is. This man became a joke. I don't know why people keep watching him at this point. If he. I'm just gonna say this. The gore. The, bl the bloody uh, scenes. Is going to be next. They already took away fan service. Now Gore is going to be next. And and this motherfucker starts complaining 
and just going to laugh at him and point it out. And can, I can't wait, honestly, for that day, <laughs> because it's coming. The industry, the AAA industry is falling apart. It's, it's so shit now that, look, I'm going to show you something. Let's see, your poor remit gets a bunch of microtransactions and mercenary DLCs, gambling mechanics. Yeah. You know, crap con is shit. Always been like shit, but damn. They were taking away the mo most shittier decisions and then bringing it back, along with censorship and wokeness. But well, that's pretty much everything. Have a great day.